You ever find yourself getting washed up pretty hard or getting tossed on some rocks when you're just trying to get out there, trying to come in from a shore dive on rocky terrain? In this video, we're gonna be going over some tips and tricks that I've learned from other spear fishermen and from my own personal experience to hopefully get you out of those situations as best as possible. So my name is Sam from Dive Spear Eat and let's dive in. So the first thing you wanna do before you grab your gear is actually check the conditions. That'll help you avoid a lot of this mess. Uh, mess as in bad conditions. I assume you're watching this video. If you're not as experienced as a diver, don't worry. I'm not that experienced, but I have a couple years or about eight years under my belt. So I've done a lot of stupid things and I've learned a lot and I hope these tips help you. First thing is check conditions. Um, surf, is, uh, surf height is probably the most important. Um, generally speaking for myself, I'll dive anywhere from one to two or below. Um, anything higher, highly unlikely that I'll dive nowadays. Um, first, it's just unsafe, especially coming in and out of rocky terrain and um, the fish better be biting or I guess not biting um, there uh, for me to dive anything higher. So I try to stick between one to two or lower. Uh, sometimes I'll dive two, but generally speaking, um, that's a good barometer there. So secondly, once you're at the spot, you're suited up um, and you're ready to get in the water, uh, your first inclination um, might be to put on your fins and then swim out from the rock, like stand up and then jump into the water. So the technique I use is actually grabbing my spear gun right here with my right hand like this. And I'll grab my set of fins with my left and I'll grab right there. I found this to be the most comfortable. I have the most control and this will play a factor in a bit. Um, so I'm ready to go out. First thing I'll do is well, I'll walk away from shore. So I'm doing this. And then I get to the point where the water level is about uh, middle of my stomach or so. And then I'll jump in. And from here, I am not kicking. The reason why I'm not kicking is from my experience. When you kick or you try to, um, yeah, when you kick, sometimes you'll knee, your knee will hit rocks, especially in shallow water. So uh, it's very uneven. Uh, there's some shallower rocks and whatnot. So what I do instead is I'll actually reach out with my extra fingers I have here, usually my right hand, and I'll actually pull, even with the fins. And this is really key. Remember this, or you're gonna lose some fins. As you're going out and you're trying to pull, if you're uncomfortable using your left hand, I would just stick with the right. And big key thing here is, tilt this flat to the current. If you do this, and the current comes in like this, there's gonna be a lot of pressure here, and it's gonna to wanna to pull this out of your hand. So just like basic hydrodynamics, lower surface area like this, and generally speaking, I find it very easy to control it here, and if you do lose it, you could kind of hug it into your body um, and save it. So I do that. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. I'm also trying to step walking if possible, um, and then I get to a deeper end, uh, I would say to the point where your feet essentially don't touch, and what I'll do, this part's crucial for me, um, I'll stick my spear gun and one of my fins like this into my right armpit area like this. And then, so I have one hand free and this is crucial for putting on my first fin and I'll hold this fin like this. I'm ready. I'm looking up, looking at the surf. I'm waiting for a short break and then I go down. I'll put on my left fin, so I have two hands now. I'm gonna crunch, put on my left fin. And then once I have one fin on, I'll actually, so back to right hand, left hand. Again, keep this flat. I'll do this and actually kick with one fin just to get away from the breakers. And then once I'm in more open water, more calm water, again, I'll stick the spear gun under my armpit like this, two hands free, put on my other fin and we're good to go. So that's going out. Going in is essentially the opposite, but I would say going in is more dangerous or the most dangerous part of any shore dive. 
especially if you've caught some prize fish or whatnot. Let's just assume you caught nothing. Um, so you're heading in. First thing, you're going, you're going, you're looking back, checking the sets, of course, looking forward, um, looking for rocks. You're swimming to the point where you can almost touch the bottom with your feet if you were to stand up. You keep going, and at this point, you're looking at the sets, being very careful, and what I do is actually I reach out with left or right hand. Uh, if the spear gun's on my right hand, I'll reach out with my left hand because this is where it gets a little sketchy. Um, if a big surf, if a big set comes in, it kind of lunges you forward, you don't wanna be catching rocks with your face rather your hand. So um, my left hand is up or vice versa, whatever you're comfortable with. Spear gun's in one side. I'll kind of be like this, doing this. And once I get to the point, I'm finning, finning. I get to the point where I'm almost able, um, for me, it would be like five feet of water. So pretty shallow. Generally speaking, it depends on the conditions, but generally speaking about five to six feet or so, I'm looking back, I'm looking back. Once I see a pause or a break, a break time to actually do, any, do something, the brakes aren't coming in, I'll go down, the foot comes out. So you have one fin out, you have still one fin on, and this is where pretty much the same technique we use to go back, um, back out applies. So um, what I do is tuck spear gun and one, one of the fins underneath my right armpit like this. I look for a break in the set. I'm always, this whole time I'm still looking around, have a hand up if possible. Once I see a break, I go down, use both hands to get it off quick. And then essentially I'm ready to go. I have my other fin off. And at this point, spear gun, one hand, fins, holding it right here I found is the best. And kind of, if I'm swimming, swimming this way, I have it like this. So I'm swimming, um, I'm walking on the rocks at this point because I can stand up. For those of you that are a little shorter, I would go a little bit closer. But generally speaking, you want to get to the point where you can almost touch the bottom or touch the bottom. And then you're going kind of, I keep these in front of me so I don't want to catch rocks with my face. And then um, once I get to the point where I can stand up and most of my body's out of the water, I'll quickly shift the fins back to my right armpit. Or this time, I'll hold the spear gun this time, do this. And with one hand, I do need some help. I'm a ter I have terrible balance. Um, I'll kind of leverage my left hand, kind of balance on some rocks. It gets me out of the water quicker. I know that was a lot of steps. So biggest takeaways are you find what's comfortable for you, but the biggest things are don't put your fins on before uh, you get in the water. That's my the biggest thing to keeping your, uh, your fins um, healthy and operational for long periods of time. If you're doubting yourself and you know that's the only way you know and you just need to get out there, do what you need to do to get out there. This is my personal take on not only saving your gear, but uh, in terms of safety. Uh, I found the system works best for me. A lot of my spear fishing buddies um, utilize the same technique. Slight variations in terms of preferences on how they like to hold their gear um, as they're going in and out. But generally speaking, we all put our fins on after we get into the water from rocky entry and exits. Um, and then obviously unload your spear guns before you start doing all this. So um, I hope this video was helpful. I know that was a lot of information, um, but I just wanted to share this video um, when I first started it out. It was really tough, just trial and error for the most part, um, and just talking to my friends about what techniques might be better um, was really painful, and I hope this alleviates some pain and some frustration for you. Uh, for those of you out there just starting in spearfishing, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.